Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Recently, I cooked a huge Chinese uh, New Year's dinner for a family and friends, and I have a lot of leftover vegetables and some uh, cooked chicken meat that I didn't use. So I thought, hey, why not make a chow mein and add all these ingredients together? So today's dish is going to be chow mein with assorted vegetables and chicken. So let's get started. So let's review our ingredients. I have here Chinese style noodles. This is the store bought. It's one pound. I have bean sprouts, green onions, cilantro. This is a fresh bamboo shoots that's sliced. I have some poached uh, chicken meat, which I was going to use for a chicken salad and I didn't. And here I have uh, fresh shiitake mushrooms, half an on onion. There's a piece of carrot, uh, garlic, ginger, and for seasoning, we'll be using a seasoning mix. I have hoisin sauce, no not hoisin, oyster sauce, sesame oil, dark soy, regular soy, and Shaoxing uh, wine. So this is all the vegetables that I have in my fridge. So you can use anything that you have, and if you don't have chicken meat, you have uh, pork or beef, you know, uh, feel free to use that. And if you don't have any protein at all, then that's fine. This will just be like a vegetarian chow mein. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, let's cut all the ingredients. I'm going to slice the onion. Put that aside. We have uh, the mushrooms. Next up is the carrot. Just gonna julienne it. Just watch your fingers. Make sure your knife is sharp. Have the garlic. Just gonna chop that. For the ginger, you can just peel it, peel it with a spoon. And if you don't use all your ginger, you know, you can always freeze it. You can either peel it or leave it uh, skinned and cut it into little chunks and put it in the freezer. Grab that with the garlic and ginger. Next is we're going to slice the onions, cut them in half, and just cut them in little sections. And that's good enough. Same with the cilantro, I'm gonna cut it in thirds. And that's it. So let's get cooking. So before you do all your prep work, make sure you have a big pot of uh, water boiling. We're going to season the water with some salt. Add the noodles. I'm just going to break it up a little bit here. You don't want to just throw the whole thing in. It's just going to get clumpy. Okay. Probably needs to cook for about, um, I would say seven to eight minutes. Let the noodles come to a boil and check for doneness. It needs a couple more minutes. You don't want to overcook it. Actually, that's good. It's like al dente. So I'm taking out the flame. I'm going to um, rinse it under cold water. Okay, here we have the noodles. Pour it in. Rinse the cold water. I'm going to stop the cooking process here and wash away some of the starch. So here I have a pan preheating at a medium heat. I'm going to add oil. Swirl it around. And what I like to do is I like to cook the noodles out a bit. This helps rise it and gives it a, a smoky flavor. And let that cook up. I'm going to let the noodles brown on each side. That way when you start cooking the noodles, it's not going to become just like a big clump, a big wet mess here. You can see it browning a bit here. So we'll just do it to the other side. This is going to take a few minutes to do. You can smell the noodles cooking. It smells really good. It's going to take a few more minutes. So as you can see, there's all these little nice smoky brown noodles here. It smells really good. Okay, it's done. I'm going to put it aside. 
Yeah. Now I've also washed and rinsed the pan. And turn the heat back up to high. Dry the pan up. Add the oil. Let's start with the onions. Make sure this is cooked up. Okay, remove this from the pan. Add a little more oil. So let's cook up the mushrooms. Add a little oil. Let's add the garlic and ginger too. Mushrooms soak up a lot of oil. And my bamboo shoots. Add a little seasoning mix to this. And to remove from the pan also, just rinse the pan out one more time. Add a little more oil to the pan. We saute the onions here. And add the noodles. And turn the carrot and onion. Separate the noodles a bit. Add the mushroom and bamboo shoots. Also, going to add the chicken. I'm going to add a bit of sesame oil, oyster sauce, soy sauce. A little dark soy for color, wine, you can stir fry all together, looking really good. I'm going to add the bean sprouts last, so it stays crunchy, and the cilantro. There's a lot going on in this pan. We make sure all the flavors are combined. We stir this around for, for another about 30 seconds. You want to heat up the chicken. And I also like to add a little white pepper and try it. It's good. Okay, it's done. You can plate it. This chow mein is just full of vegetables and the chicken is nice. This is a lot of noodles. So here we have chicken chow mein with assorted vegetables. It looks good and it's easy to make. You can use up all the leftover vegetables and meat in your fridge. I hope you enjoy this. Let's see if my taste tester likes it. Oh, I think she does. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.